Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about priority encoder and then 4-bit priority encoder. So, before going into 4-bit priority encoder, let me first explain what do you mean by priority encoder. What is the encoder? What do you mean by encoder? We know encoder as a digital circuit which is used to convert a short form for a big data format. Okay, that means the message bits are going to be encrypted or encoded into a smaller equivalent. What is the size of the encoder? Size of the encoder is normally like 2 power n by n. This is the size of the encoder. Size of the encoder is nothing but 2 power n by n. Here the priority encoder is also same like your normal conventional encoder but the difference is Suppose if you are having, for example, for example, <coughs> I am having 4 bit encoder. I am having 4 bit encoder. What is the purpose of 4 bit encoder is, uh, it is having 4 bits like D0, D1, D2, D3. These are the inputs. Whichever is 1, the corresponding binary equivalent format will be the output. That is the normal encoding operation. Okay, suppose in this example I am taking triple uh, zero one. Then the output like y uh, y one y not. These are the outputs. So as as d three is one, now the output is one one. Suppose I am having zero zero one zero 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 one zero which is one here d2 is one as d2 is one the second bit d2 corresponding binary format is one zero <coughs> okay suppose in the example i have pressed both the bits like d2 and d3 okay here one is nothing but pressing here the d3 is pressed in the first stage then the corresponding binary equivalent format is produced and in the second stage, I pressed the D2 button, second button, so that the corresponding equivalent binary format is produced. And now, in the third case, I have pressed D2 and D3 simultaneously. D3 and D2 simultaneously. Then what happens? Yes, both the inputs are given. There is no output because the output is consisting of both 2 and 3. Then it may go for 5. 2 plus 3 is equal to it may go for 5 but those uh, in order to represent 5 we should have minimum of 3 bits those 3 bits are not available in the output format okay so uh, what is our aim uh, unfortunately the second bit is also pressed is also pressed but our aim is to press only one of these bits only one of these bits if d2 is pressed then the corresponding 10 output will come if D3 is pressed, 1, 1 is the output, but as both are pressed, there is no output because the system doesn't know which is the input that has been selected. <coughs> okay, so that's why, that's why priority encoder came into existence. Priority encoder came into existence. The purpose of priority encoder is out of the pressing bits, listen carefully, the purpose of priority encoder is out of the pressing bits which is having the highest priority that bit will be chosen as the output bit that means suppose in the same example as 2 and 3 are pressed simultaneously at a time which is the highest number here d3 is the highest number d3 is the highest number which is the highest priority d3 okay highest priority in the sense highest number okay out of the pressing buttons which is the highest number that will be given with the highest priority so that the output will be 1 1 the output is 1 1 if the second even if the second bit is 1 that is simply discarded because of this least priority 2 is having less less priority compared to 3 so 3 is the output then Suppose I am having D0 as 1 and D1 as 0, D2 as 1 and D3 is 0. Okay, then what is the output which is having the highest priority D2? D2 is having the highest priority out of D0. Then output is simply 1, 0 which is 2. 
okay so this is the meaning of priority encoder priority encoder will always search for the number which is having the highest priority out of all the pressing buttons okay <clears throat> so this is what the priority encoder priority encoder priority encoder selects the number from all the uh, pressed or pressing inputs pressing inputs are nothing but which are activated which are activated pressing inputs so priority encoder selects the number from all the pressing inputs which is having which is having highest priority highest priority okay highest priority in the sense highest priority means highest priority means highest number that means big number okay so this is priority encoder the purpose of priority encoder is to select the highest priority number out of all the pressing buttons okay <clears throat> it simply discards all other activated buttons all other activated buttons okay now let us see some four bit priority encoder okay for example consider four bit priority encoder four bit priority encoder then see now four bit priority encoder four bit priority encoder so four bits are there so four bits are there which are nothing but d not d1 d2 d3 these are the inputs and outputs are we are having two outputs a b and some input v v is nothing but valid input okay so we are taking all zeros first all zeros all zeros means there is no output and v is equal to zero because v zero means it is not valid this case is not valid what is the meaning of v is v tells whether the incoming bits are valid or not here all are zeros means no one is activated no number is activated so simply it is invalid and now i am taking the next condition as d not is 1 and remaining all are zeros listen carefully d not is 1 and out of uh, above above this d not all the other higher order numbers are deactivated all the other higher order numbers are deactivated that's why it is simply 0 0 and it is a valid input and now take this d not as x and it is 1 it is 0 0 see here x means x means here i don't care x means don't care it shows either 0 or 1 it shows either 0 or 1 if it is 0 then there is no problem but if it is 1 there is a problem but as it is a priority encoder it always goes for the d1 because d1 is having highest priority than d0 here the numbers are given in the priority wise 
D naught is having least priority and D3 is having highest priority. Okay, so whatever the X consists of, whether it is 0 or 1, as D1 is 1, the output only lies on D1 and it is a valid input. And it is X, it is X and it is 1, 0. 1, 0. So 1 means which is having the highest priority 2, so the number is 2 and it is a valid input. And next again, D3 is 1, D3 is 1, so D3 means 1, 1 and it is valid. Okay. Even if all the numbers D0, D1, D2, D3 are ones, then also we can have only 1, 1 because the highest priority is having it D3. Okay. So this is the truth table. This is the truth table. Then how to write the k-map expressions? How to write the expression for a? Can I write it like this? D2 plus D3? Can I write it like this? D2 plus D3? Of course we can write. But in order to write that, we should know here, see, this is 0, 1 or 1, 1. There are two possible cases that we can have in this particular 4-bit combination. It is, it may be either 0 or 1. It may be either 0 or it may be either 1. If it is 0, then 0, 1, 0, 0. If it is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And similarly, here also for 2 x's, we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Four different combinations will come. Okay. And similarly, here 3 x's are there. So, from 3 zeros to 3 ones, we can do that. Here also 8 combinations will come. Okay. So, likewise, we are having the combinations, even if they are not in the truth table completely, then we have to show them if you want to go for the k map. Then only we can represent all these ones. <coughs> okay. So, with this, just let us go to the k map. K map for the first one A. D naught, D one, D two, D three, zero 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 one 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 zero. Here also we have zero 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 one zero 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 one 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 zero. Okay, now if you substitute all these as I said, then you will be having ones like this. So, total 12 numbers are there, 12 ones are there, 12 ones we cannot group them. So, 8 ones has one group and 8 ones has another group. So, then the expression for this one A is equal to D3 plus D2. D3 plus D2. This is for A. Okay. And similarly for B. Similarly for B, here also we have to consider 4 bit variable K map. It is D naught D1, D2, D3, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So here we have ones in these locations. Now, these 8 ones can be grouped as a single prime implicant and these 4 can also be grouped as a prime implicant. So, 2 prime implicants are there, D, B is equal to, one is D3 plus D2 bar D1, D, D3 plus D2 bar D1. So, the logic circuit is, the logic circuit is, very simple, we have an OR gate, B is equal to D3 plus D2 bar D1, D2 bar D1, here we have D3, and 
and we need one and gate x d2 bar d1 d2 d1 next we need one or gate which gives a and here we have some valid bit b so in this for or gate we are giving d2 and another input from d3 that is a d2 plus d3 and coming to v v is also there see here v v is also there v how we can write v is nothing but it's a combination of all it's a combination of all so that's why we can simply add all the numbers d1 d0 d1 d0 okay so this is the simple logic circuit of 4 bit priority encoder generally we will use ic's integrated circuits for this decoder encoder priority encoders multiplexers demultiplexers standard inputs and outputs are there between these two okay so this is a simple and or not realization thank you